Hello, hello, and welcome to Games Revisited. It's episode 82, and we're continuing our playthrough of Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic 2, The Sith Lords. We've been doing our little crew check-in. We had a um, interesting encounter with Mira. Uh, not about to go back there anytime soon. Not with that large pointy sword. We finally got the Handmaiden to convert over to the Jedi, and we're ready to start training her as a Jedi Knight. So let's go ahead and step outside with her real quick. And just because I need to get the party, we'll get visas. Because I want to go ahead and level up the Handmaiden now. Because this is what I've been waiting for. Oh, and get some clothes on her too. She insists on fighting naked for some reason. Alright. Uh, one of these is the upgraded ones. That's the upgraded one. With a bump to max dex bonus and damage immunity. Alright, and the handmaiden staff, 2 to 12. I need to, I need to find her a better weapon too. Especially since it is not upgradable. Um... 2 to 12, 2 to 12. Okay. So we'll see We'll see if I can get the uh, a double-bladed sword or something like that. Up. Although now that she's a, a Jedi Knight, um, I should be able to get her an actual lightsaber. As soon as I get some lightsabers for all my Jedis. I, I got an awful lot of Jedi and not a whole lot of lightsabers. Gonna have to fix that. All right. Let us level her up now. So, oh, Guardian. Sorry, not Knight. Guardian. So she's going to be one of those bruisers that uh, doesn't get a whole lot of force points, gets a lot of hit points, and uh, will really be able to hit him when it counts. Skills. <laughs> she gets a point. Uh, treat injury is going to be where she spends her skill point. Singular. This is why I didn't do Guardian for my character. I like having skill points. I like having skills. Um, yeah, Treat Injury, because that's what her heal is going to be based off of, and a few other things. Feats. She got Weapons Proficiency, Lightsaber, Jedi Defense, Force Jump, and Jedi Sense. Uh, remind me again what Force Jump does. Oh, oh, she's got a Chani Strike. Uh, oh, that, that's something with the, okay. I, w I wonder if that goes up automatically when she gets to level 11. We'll find out before too long. Alright, oh, there it is. Force jump. Requires lightsaber. <laughs> okay, so that's not going to happen anytime soon, but, um, the Jedi know that if diplomacy fails, combat must be swift and decisive. When an opponent at range is targeted with a standard lightsaber melee attack, this feat allows guardians to make a quick jump to their target and close the distance almost instantly. This feat is automatic when wielding a lightsaber ooh, good, and targeting opponents with a standard melee attack from more than 10 meters away. The Jedi must have a clear line of sight to the opponent. Okay. That's nice. Uh, I, I bet that levels up as she gets more guardian levels too. Uh, Jedi sense, yada yada. Okay, so... Oh, and she gets the weapon specialization stuff too because guardian. Alright. So... She's doing the double bladed. Can't do the Master 2 weapon fighting yet. Conditioning's kind of nice, but I, I might... Uh, I can't do the power attack yet. I could start the flurry tree. Although, honestly... Uh, I think I'm going to go ahead and start dumping feats into the weapons focus lightsaber and weapons specialization lightsaber. Even though she doesn't have a lightsaber yet, there's really no point in putting it into the melee weapons proficiencies because once I get her a lightsaber, she's going to be using a lightsaber. So let's go ahead and do the weapons focus lightsaber now. And oh, that's right. She gets two powers to start off with. 
Uh, since I'm going to keep her in the heavy armor, that means I need to pick powers that are not hindered by having armor. Mind trick, no. That's a dark side, so no. Dark side, no. Throw lightsaber is not a bad one to have. Uh, force push. Force push could be good. Because uh, she's not going to get a whole lot of powers. So I'm thinking focusing on maybe force push. Uh, battle meditations restricted by armor. Force barrier. And energy resistance. Oh, those are not restricted by... Okay. Yeah. All right. Oh, and healing isn't. Heal might be an option. Although, you know, now. Let's, uh... Or the stuns. No, she's probably not going to be stunning. So let's go ahead and do force push. And... I can't automatically do the Force Whirlwind. So we'll make the other one a uh, Force Barrier. All right. And level up and attributes. And ooh, since she's going to be melee powerhouse, I might want to get that strength up. On the other hand, I really need to crank up her wisdom for her Force Powers and... Uh, force points. Uh, yeah. Yeah, it's probably going to end up being wisdom. I'm, I really do want to bump up her strength, but I might have to do that through gear. Or constitute. Now, let me get her wisdom up to 12 and then reassess. All right, skills. She gets the one skill point. And feats. She is now force sensitive. All right, so I can bump up her two weapon, bump up her power attack, or bump up her weapon spec. She doesn't have a lightsaber yet, so I'm probably not going to do that one just yet. Let me go ahead and set her up with the Master 2 weapon fighting. That way she doesn't have that big honking penalty. Okay. And she gets a power. Uh, can't do the force push yet. Can't do the upgraded barrier yet. So let's go ahead and add the energy resistance in there too. Okay. Accept. Level up. Skills. Okay. I should say skill, singular. All right, let's go ahead and bump up that master power attack. Okay. And her power, singular, is going to be the force whirlwind. Okay. Accept. Level up. Skill. Read injury. All right, powers. <laughs> power, singular. Let's, uh, I'm tempted to give her a heal because having, I've never, I've never had too many people capable of healing. So let's do that. Let's make sure she's got a heal. Accept. Level up. Skill. Feet. Okay, so she does automatically get the Achani Strike as she levels, which is good. Um... She's not going to use Caution. She's not going to use Critical Strike. She's not going to use Empathy. Uh, maybe Flurry. Flurry is an option. Gearhead, no. Uh, improved Conditioning is kind of nice. As a bonus to all saving throws. But honestly, I, that's not that big a... I wish I could turn in that Power Blast or something else. Uh, advanced Jedi Defense, no. Master Toughness is nice, though. That might be worth topping off right there. Although she's probably going to run out of 
force points really quick. So regen, regen force points might be a good idea because again, the the problem with the the guardians is they do not get a lot of force points. That is, you know, that they, they kind of have a few powers, kind of have a few points, but mostly they hit things. They they're the leaders in the aggressive negotiations, and um. So regenerating force points is going to be my next go. That that she's going to benefit from that a lot. Those few few powers that she has. All right, let's uh let's go with the improved energy resistance. And accept. And level up. She gets improved force jump and unarmed specialist two. Nice. We can bump up her wisdom, so we start getting a little bit more force points. A will save that's actually pretty uh, better. <laughs> and um yeah that, that's the big one skill and power we'll go ahead and do the improved force barrier and then we'll do the improved heal after that all right level up same skill <coughs> hmm Here's where the tough decisions come in. All right, I don't want to do precise shot. That's not going to help her at all. Stealth run, not going to help her at all. Regenerate vitality points, that's not a bad one, although she's already got the ability to regen through one of the implants. Mobility, uh, it's always nice, but without everybody having it, I don't know that it helps that much. Uh, finesse is technically nice because her dex is higher than her strength. But the difference between the two is not worth a feat. Dual strike is always an option. So if I don't have any other options, I might come back and do dual strike. Uh, I don't want to make stealth a skill. I don't want to make security a skill. I don't want to make repair or computer use a skill. Close combat only helps with ranged, and she ain't ranged. Dueling is for a one hand, single one-handed weapon, which she's not doing. Um, so we can put in Master Toughness, which would be nice. Weapon Specialization, Lightsaber, which would also be nice. Or I can start working on that Flurry Tree. And I think I'm going to go ahead and start working on that Flurry Tree. Because I would, I would really like to have that as a combat option. Because that's what she's good for. Alright, let's go ahead and get that uh, improved heal. And accept. And her skill, such as it is, her powers. Uh, oh. Okay. So she's not a high enough level to get Master Heal yet. She's not a high enough level for Master Energy Resistance or Force Barrier or for the force wave. So I need to start investing in another line of skills. Uh, man. Stun and Stun Droid are probably the next best line, but honestly with the, with the force whirlwind, that affects everybody. And, and I don't see her running around stunning people. Uh, and most of these other powers are restricted by armor. And since we're going for stuff that is not restricted by armor, I think my only other option is going to be the throw lightsaber. Let's add that. I don't expect to use it much, but it won't be bad to have. All right. And her skill beats left and right. Clearing. Okay. Power. All right, now we can start bumping up the powers and let's go ahead and jump up to the force wave. Okay, let's do the wave. Accept. Level up, unarmed specialist three. And, ooh. Do I increase her constitution, strength, or wisdom? I'm not gonna bother to g increasing intelligence or charisma because they don't help any skills that she's gonna be using and they don't have any other uh, benefit because she's oh no she gets a whole extra skill point she doesn't have a wide variety of skills not going to happen 
Uh, and same for Charisma. She's not doing any conversation stuff. Uh, and maybe it'll help Companion's chance to hit? Eh. I mean, she could use dark side powers with less of a penalty with a higher charisma, but I don't plan on... she. She's not a powerhouse. Pretty hard. Sorry for the pun. Uh, so honestly, it's a question of strength or constitution. You know, I'm going to get her constitution up to 16 so I can get the higher level, the the next higher level implants, and then uh, and then we'll go strength after that. Skill? Okay. Powers. All right, let's go with the force barrier. And accept. Oh, because oh, we're at level 16 now total. So this should be the last opportunity to level her up. Skill. Feats. I forgot the guardians. Uh, as a compromise for not getting a lot of skills or skill points or powers, they get tons of feats. Like, if you want... If you want Feats. Go 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 get a guardian. They 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 seem to get feats almost every level. Kinda like a fighter from the D D side of things. Alright, let's go ahead and get that master flurry. And she got her first lightsaber form, which is always nice. Let's get that energy resistance in there. And accept. And there we go. So we got the bo the two of them leveled up. We still gotta, we still gotta improve their weapon situation, both of them. Uh, but I think weapons all handle over the weekend. All right, so that is everybody all nice and leveled up. Let's go ahead and save the game, just because that was a lot of work. Okay. Let me get back on the ship, and then I'll, I'll talk to. Uh, I'll go talk to Visas. Oh, sorry. We're not. Okay. It looked like somebody was about to interrupt with something. All right, let's see what Visas has to say and then go from there. My life for yours. Oh. Um, I want to teach you some of the forms I've learned. Sure. I am prepared both in mind and body for your teachings. Visas has learned the she. I understand okay. now. Such a form will increase my skills and my use to you. That works. Uh, see to it that you master what I have taught. I only taught you to make you stronger, not to serve me. Yeah. I do not understand, but the choice is mine whether you permit it or not. Okay, I have questions for you. I will you. answer what I can. Um. Going about your home world. Was your master the one sent to Paragus? Let's ask that one. I don't think we asked that one the last I'm time. I'm familiar with the place you speak of. My master has not entered Republic space for some time. But oh. there are others who may move more freely. Who may have been responsible for such an act of destruction. What do you mean? There are many factions within the Sith. All seeking to take what little remains in the wake of the Jedi Civil War. Where one ah. moves, it is not always known to the others. But their purpose is the same. The death of all Jedi. Everywhere. They believe you are the last of the Jedi. Hmm. And their hatred of the Jedi unites them. All their eyes are upon you. And it is a terrible, quiet darkness that pursues you. Oh. Well, okay then. I had some other questions I will then. answer what I can. Was your master behind the destruction of Paragus? My master did not cause the end of the planet you speak of. Oh, I mean, not there are many factions within the Sith, oh. all seeking to take what little Back remains in this. the wake of the Jedi Civil War. Where one moves, it is not always known to the others. But their purpose is the same. The death of all Jedi. Everywhere. They believe you are the last of the Jedi. Okay. And so whichever way you go, you end up down this conversation them. tree. All their eyes are upon you. And it is a terrible, quiet darkness. I didn't know they were on tour. I will answer what I can. We've already asked about the home world and how you see through the force. All right. Uh, is starting. My life for yours. 
How did you find me? Who sent you? I had questions. All right, I want to teach you some of the techniques I've learned, because that was another option. I'm prepared for whatever you wish to teach me. Jesus has learned breath control. I understand oh. Now. I shall practice what oh, you nice. Me. Okay. That's good. Um, does that mean that I can teach Atten new stuff too? Let's uh, let's go talk to Atten real quick. I heard you making friends with the bounty hunter. I don't blame you. <laughs> She's a scrapper. You don't survive on Narshida for very long if you aren't. Uh, did you know Mira? I've known people like her. Oh. Maybe without the rocket launchers, but sort of the same. Maybe without the plunging neckline and the boots. <laughs> I wouldn't let anything she says bother you. It's a wonder you cracked her attitude at all. She's cold as the ship's hull. I had some questions for you. All right. What did you want to know? All right. Never mind. Uh, Something up? Okay. There we go. Now I've got the option to start teaching him some stuff. I want to teach you some of the forms I've learned. All right, I'm game. What did you want to show me? This is good. Atten has learned the Sheen got Saber it. form. I'll be sure to make use of it. All right. Something up. Something up. I want to teach you some of the techniques I've I learned. Know this training thing was going to be so much work. What'd you expect? And he's learned breath control. All right. I think I've got it. I'll try to practice it when I get the chance. All right. And it Something looked like up. I had one more option to teach. Uh, some of the fighting techniques. Oh, yeah? All right, let me have it. <laughs> Atten has received weapons focused All lightsaber. Right. I think I've got it. Ooh. I'll try to practice it when I get the chance. Oh, good. That means that I didn't have to. Uh... Something up. All right. Uh, some of the techniques. Uh, All right. But I tell you, I think you're carrying this teacher thing too far. Nah. Atten has learned the effect mind All ability. Right. I think I've got it. I'll okay. try to practice it when I get the chance. Um. Something up. Okay, looks like I could teach him a lot of stuff. Okay. All right, I'm game. What did you want to show me? Atten has learned dominate mind. All right, I think okay. I've got it. I'll try to practice. It I thought when that I get only the, the main character could use those though. All Something right. Something up. Zach Senate questions. All right, never mind. I believe I have taught him all that I can. So does that mean I could teach the handmaid some stuff? Let me go ahead and save this before I go do that, just in case this goes horribly, horribly awry. All right. Where are you at? I really do need to talk to Goto, but... Let's do this first. Yes. Uh, can you teach me more fighting moves? There is nothing more I can teach. Okay. You. All right. That seems to be all we can do there. Uh, all right. Let's check in with Kriya real quick. Especially now that you know she had to tell Visa uh, or had to tell uh, Atris that you know the Handmaiden has betrayed the Order. You not. Um. It was a sound like a heart, yet a voice. It was Visa's master. He can feel my presence in the forest. Yes, it was a sound like power. Um. Let's go with the third one. The time to hide your presence is coming to a <laughs> close, and you will need to increase your training. You are ready. Your training must increase. And there are higher mysteries you must learn. But only you must okay. know the path you will take. I cannot choose it for you. Is it battle that stirs you? To meet an enemy blade upon blade? Such is the way of the greatest of Jedi warriors. Oh, the okay. Th this means... Or oh, it is okay. investigating the mysteries of the galaxy, seeking out injustice and harm, and bringing it into the light. Such is the way of the Jedi Watchman in the time of Ulik Keldroma and Exar Kun. He's given me the option to uh, upon the ancient mysteries prestige and to teach others the ways of the Force, as I have the way of the Jedi Masters. Um. Now I'm trying to remember which one it was. Which one's? Which one was the? Uh, 
Shoot. Let me, uh... Let me pull up real quick which options are available. Uh, prestige classes. There we go. All right. So I am currently a Jedi Sentinel. Because that is the balance between attack and powers. Consulars lean a little bit more towards the powers. Guardians lean a little bit more towards the, uh, the, the combat. And Jedi Watchmen is the... Okay, Jedi Watchman is going to be the the equivalent. Although I could go Jedi Master. And Hmm. I'm not going to do the Weapons Master cuz that's If I want to keep my skills up, I'm going to have to get the, uh, keep with the Jedi Watchman. Yeah. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and stick with the Watchman. That is the middle path that's pretty, pretty close to what I've been doing, so... Let me go. Jedi Watchmen should return to the galaxy, and I'll be the first to restore them. It is not some great test you require to be what you strive to be. It is only your decision to find that path that matters. From here on, you guide your destiny. <laughs> but Achieve an unlock a certain set of skills. Steps, you must face your past and put it to rest. You have become a prestige class and taken your first steps to learning the higher mysteries of the Force. Oh! Okay. Like, we're, we're getting in it right now. Level up. Skills. Looks like I got all my basic skills, so there we go. And one more for awareness. Okay. Feats. I've got Sneak Attack 1 and Greater Prestige Sense. Um. Oh. Okay. Okay, so it doesn't necessarily have to be in stealth. I get an extra 1 to 6 points of extra damage to attacks when the target can't respond to the attacker. The extra damage is applied to attacks made from behind the target, attacks against a stunned or otherwise immobilized target, and any attacks made while in stealth mode. Oh, there we go. Weapon specialization, lightsaber. That is definitely my next my next feat and then uh, I'll figure out what's next from there let's go weapon specialization okay powers ooh I get force camouflage and what does force camouflage do force camouflage is not on this list uh well now I do have some decisions don't I because I have maxed out all the force power trees I've been working on. Alright, so most of the time I've got somebody available that can do the energy resistance or the force barrier or even force resistance. And we don't seem to be going against enough uh, Sith for force resistance to make sense right now. Uh, so that, that might change. Um... Oh no, not force body. Revitalize might be a good option. Um, so I might do force aura and I might do burst of speed. 
I, again, I don't like the effect that Burst of Speed does, but I do like the fact that once I max it out, I'll start getting some extra attacks. And I'm not always going to have Kriya with me, so let's add that. Okay. There we go. Jedi Watchman, level one. Sweet. All right. All right, you know what? Uh, I had other crew check-in that I really wanted to do, but I wanted to save the last two episodes to move things forward. So I might do another crew check-in uh, after we get to the next planet. Let me go ahead and save things right here. And we'll start in on the next planet at the next episode. So if you're watching live, hang tight, because i got two more episodes that I'm going to record. If you're watching later on YouTube, then I'll see you next time. But if you're watching live, hang tight. Well, that was fun. Unless I just died. Then it was a little less than fun. I hope you've enjoyed. I hope you're having fun. And if you want to watch live, you can follow along on Twitch. I live stream the recording of the next six episodes at least once a week. I might even throw in some bonus content here and there if time allows. And you'll find the link in the description below. Also, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the YouTube channel. That way you'll get notified when new episodes go up, live stream archives from some of my other stuff, and various and sundry other videos, because I do more than just this. And if you want to get notifications, don't forget to hit the bell. And if you really, truly enjoyed it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and all that good fun stuff. If you have any questions, queries, quips, quotes, comments, complaints, or other whatnot, don't forget to leave those in the comments down below. Lastly, if you're enjoying the show, if you're getting some value out of it, then consider giving a lot of value back. Go to live.anonjunior.com. It'll take you to the Streamlabs page where you can tip or donate, however you want to think about it. And there's no preset amount because this is a straight up value for value proposition. So if you're getting value out of the show and you would like to give a little value back, even if it's just enough for a cheap cup of coffee, then uh, consider going, giving a little bit, especially if it tickled the nostalgia or opened your eyes to a new game that you might play. And uh, with all that said and done, we're, uh, we're going to cut out, have fun, enjoy, and I'll see you next time.